potential org shakeup happening at 343, MCC returning to Twitch along with the drama of armor coatings continues and 343 themselves replies about it. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. If you guys don't know, there was a recently been a big change when it comes to the Halo streaming community and that is the game of the MCC. That category has been completely removed from Twitch. Apparently what the thing with Twitch has been doing is that they've been removing a bunch of collaboration collection kind of games that they don't necessarily view as their own standalone products. Something like the orange box would be something from Steam. You would probably just either stream just like Portal or Team Fortress or things like that. You wouldn't stream orange box if that makes sense. Apparently Twitch views the MCC as a bit of a collection kind of game that doesn't really stand on its own kind of situation. Well, 343 did get in touch with Twitch trying to get that category back because 343 says they wholeheartedly support MCC being its own category. And we have some updates about when that's going to be happening and the MCC coming back. Recently, Tashi went on to Twitter for a reply back about this. Tashi, did Twitch ever say if they were adding MCC back to category? Tashi replied back, no word yet, fingers crossed. Obviously, if you're part of the Halo community and a content creator, this is a big hit because already it's such a fractured small community just between Halo 5 and MCC. Then you're gonna fracture up the MCC category up to like, what, the six different games or whatever that are in that MCC? It's gonna really hurt the community to grow more and it kind of isolates us all on these little archipelagos of islands that are within this whole thing. And It'd just be a shame to have that happen, especially for the, before the release of uh, Halo Infinite. It's better to have everyone all in just one category so we all kind of see each other. It's much more of a community when you're all together under a category rather than separating these little islands. Will we see the MCC brought back? I really believe so, but at the moment there is no word yet, but I am guarantee you that 343 will be pressing Twitch to bring this back. And I think 343, as a game company about Halo, has enough clout, I guess you would say, be able to kind of push Twitch to put this back onto the uh, categories for MCC. Now the drama of armor coatings in Halo Infinite continues. There has been a lot of talk ever since the reveal of this information, a lot of videos and a lot of tweets talking about this stuff, even some death threats, which is absolutely absurd and should never happen when it comes to a video game, guys. Chill when it comes to that stuff. But community manager Unishek recently went on the Twitter to kind of just try to clear up some confusion when it comes to this talking about like microtransactions customizations and things like that so let's jump right into this information guys i've seen a decent amount of confusion around codings out there so i wanted to jump in and address some of the common talking points and in this thread and so let's scroll down he says we're here codings and therefore colors can only be purchased no that is not the case there will be all kinds of customization items including coatings that can be earned in game and earned as special rewards. Will there be purchases? Sure. Is that the only way? Absolutely not. Which is good. I'm really glad to see there are ways to earn these in game. For currently all we've seen is just ways to just buy junk food and get them in the game. And so it's good to know that they have that nice mix. I figured there would be. I have a very strong feeling they'll go with a season pass model. So I believe if you just play the game enough, you'll unlock all the coatings that you can. Uh, through the season pass model. There might be individual purchases that you might have to do, but you probably earn those credits through the season pass, just like you do with Modern Warfare. Again, that's just speculation, but uh, that's kind of what I'm really feeling like 343 will kind of follow along with on that. Why not a hybrid system where I can change my colors and the rest of the armor coating remains the same? We love this idea, but colors and materials are designed and built into each specific coating. I'm hoping to elaborate on the tech behind coatings in a future community update. Will there be a good variety of coatings? Yes, although moving away from the old color system was a tough call, it has allowed us to go into greater detail and variation with armor color, materials, patterns, etc. You're going to look great in Halo Infinite. 
But yeah, I'm not gonna have a chance to kind of do any kind of variety when it comes to coloring, which I would kind of be a bummer, which we do talk about later in this video, guys. Uh, the community's kind of come up with a middle ground here, uh, but we'll go into that a little bit later. But I'm glad to see that he's gonna be going to this a little bit more with the community update. The biggest problem I think with this has been that they didn't really reveal anything that would be better than what we have right now. And they do mention there's gonna be a good variety of coatings, which is gonna be very needed. You're gonna need at least a hundred, hundreds, if not of different kinds of coatings. But this does make me concerned about the UI when it comes to this stuff. If you guys remember in Halo 5, trying to find the armor set that you like and scroll through all those variations, it's very tedious to the point where you're like, you just give up, you go like, ah, oh, just pick one that's like, doesn't look that bad, you know? Cause you can't really sort through all this stuff. It's a bunch of mess. So how is 343 going to throw together a UI to make this all work? I think that's even more challenging than trying to make these coatings work. And lastly, Unishek rounds up saying, obviously this doesn't answer every question out there, but I hope it helps clarify some of the confusion until we're able to dive deeper into customization. If you have any other questions about coatings, please send them my way. I'm always reading what you have to say. Which is true, 343 does listen. John Unishek here, the community manager, does a great job of staying up to date with the community, listening to our feedback, and passing it on to the developers. Will we see like a drastic change before the release of Halo Infinite? Probably not. Uh, though I do believe if we keep you know pressing that issue, telling them through for three what we want in our Halo game, they'll listen, they'll take the feedback, and try to implement it in some way they can. Unishek even says right here, saying, I caught up in all the tweets thoughts and feedback sent my way this weekend. Much love to those of you who did so with understanding, respect, and an open mind. Well, yeah, 343 is listening. He's gonna pass on this information. They'll probably find some way to give, give players a little bit better choice when it comes to the customization. This reminds me in Modern Warfare 2019, they, with the weapon blueprints, you had a set blueprint with a set attachments and colorings and you couldn't change that at all. After a few months of the game being released, they took community feedback and they made it so you can kind of make a hodgepodge of the different blueprint weapons exactly how you would like. But I can imagine seeing a very similar thing happening with the armor coding system if we give proper feedback. Talking about proper feedback, Matt Needler, also known as FireDragon04 on Twitter, posted this out just kind of showing like a bit of a middle ground, I would say, when it comes to armor coding, saying that maybe you have this armor coding monarch and it's locked in this color and maybe you find somebody to either unlock it through gameplay or you just can, where you can just keep that same coloring style, but then you're able to choose what colors you'd want for those different variations of colors, which would be a nice middle ground. It kind of works within the current armor coding system and it doesn't involve, I think, too much of a coding process when it comes to making this fix. I feel like that'd be something very possible, especially since 343 has been rumored that their engine has been so modified to be able to customize con content and be able to make new updates whenever they can. That I've read that saying that people internally have said that nothing in Halo is absolute. Things can change, things can be updated. And that's the beauty about the slip space engine. And I believe that probably a few months into the release of the game, if there is enough of a community feedback from the community at large, I definitely believe we can get some kind of changes coming back where we can customize our own colors. But at this moment, I think we just don't have the full story yet. I think 343 is relying on their choices to overwhelm us with, wow, maybe this is a better system. This is the biggest issue with this uh, news information is that they told us this new system but they didn't tell us why it's better than the old one, besides saying more customization options for them to color. Yeah, that's great, but what about me? This is kind of like the difference of just like baking cookies, if you think of this analogy. You make cookies from scratch. You feel like you made those cookies, right? You put in the flour, the butter, the sugar, you balanced it all out properly and just came out great. And you feel like you really earned that cookie. You made an awesome cookie, that was yours. It's better than just, buying some Nestle house, whatever, pre-made store-bought cookie dough and just throwing it into the oven. Like, look, I made cookies. Did you make that cookie? No, you didn't. And I feel like that's kind of the difference of what we're trying to talk about when it comes to armor coatings right now in Halo Infinite. Obviously, there's still more to be known when it comes to customization. I have a feeling 
with the November 9th event happening for the Xbox, I have a feeling we'll get to know a little bit more soon, at least before the end of the year. Now, some concerning news here that kind of does, that really does worry me. This information comes from Brad Sams, who was the original guy who leaked the information and saying that they thought about releasing Halo Infinite in different parts of multiplayer and campaign. Later was denied, but then Phil Spencer confirmed that they talked about it, and then they did canceled that idea, and then he, Phil Spencer brought that idea back up again, but only if 343 wants to do it. So it's kind of a mess when it comes to that whole situation. So Brad Sam's again coming out some more insider information about 343, and he says this. Whispers of more changes at 343 are circulating. Not saying anything else for now, but maybe it becomes public eventually. Continuing saying the chatter is not game related to be clear. So if it's not game related, big changes win 343 makes me believe some form of people in management might be heading out. We've had this previously with like Tim Longo, the creative director, who left about what six, eight months ago or something like that. Which you know, these kind of positions they come and go occasionally when it comes to just general game development. It's understandable. But if we have some big shakeups, like say Frank O'Connor, Bonnie Ross, or Chris Lee leaving the project, that's when it's like, okay, something's on fire. You need to tell me what's going on. Could this be Phil Spencer's response to 343 for them not being able to make the launch of the Xbox Series X? I mean, potentially. This is all just rumors right now. This is what Brad Sam said at the end of his most recent video. Some more um, changes happening over at that studio as they kind of uh, get reconfigured for a, a launch sometime next year. And so just be on the lookout. I suspect that might make headlines here, I don't know, sometime eventually. Again, this is just rumors and speculation at this point, but Brad Sam's does tend to be rather credible when it comes to his information, even when 343 puts him down. This also could mean just some mean reorganizations happening within 343, or maybe just with Microsoft in general, as when the game comes more towards the end of completion, then you kind of don't need so many people. Your studio, every studio gets bloated by the end of its development cycle for a game. And so once that's completed, they kind of start shedding off people because we really don't need them anymore. That's why they rely on contract work so much. We'll keep a close ear to the ground when it comes to this information, guys. If anything happens, you guarantee I will let you know on this channel if anything significant happens from those rumors. So until then, guys, subscribe to the channel to keep yourself up to date with all the information going on with Halo right now. If you missed any information from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.